Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Facebook ads to Google Analytics in 2023. Of course, linking Facebook ads with Google Analytics provides powerful insights into your advertising campaigns. So in this comprehensive guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to integrate your Facebook ads account with Google Analytics for in-depth tracking, of course, and analysis. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and sign in if we have an account, of course, in Facebook ads. And if we don't, we'll have to go and create an account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, Make sure to go to the CRL section and basically here you'll have to type Facebook ads and hit the enter button. Once you do so, make sure to click on this first link, which is your customers are here, find them in meta ads and etc. So click on it and this will take you to their home screen or main screen. Make sure to go to the top right corner and instead of my icon here, you'll find the login option, login into it. And if you don't have an account, of course, you'll have to go and create an account for yourself. If you don't know much about this, you can scroll down, read more information about it, how it's done, and familiarize yourself or have a general idea about it. So you can even here at the bottom, find like some frequently asked questions. You can pause the video. If you have one of those questions, I'll just open them all, compose the video and read like the answers. So... Of course, once you are here, you can always go and click on get started or advertise or whatever you want as an example. So go to ads manager and from here, you'll be to do a lot of stuff. So not now and click on X. And of course, as I said, from here, you'll be able to create some ads and do whatever you want. Other than that, make sure to go and open a new tab and go to Google Analytics or just simply type analytics. So analytics.google dot com and hit the enter button and again if you are not logged in into your account make sure to go and log in into your account and if you have an account make sure to simply uh, go and log in into it but if you don't of course you'll have to go and create an account for your own and of course now what you'll need to do if you want to like connect them together manually make sure to navigate of course into your google uh, ads and here of course you'll have to navigate into the ad account that you want to do the connection on select your ad account click on add account settings and generate the facebook pixels of course if needed and then you will have to access your google analytics account and here make sure to choose your pro or select your property and access the property settings and of course you can add the data stream and set up the web stream and install the tracking code on your website verify the connection and enable the enhanced uh, or enhanced uh, conversation if you want to and if you do that you will successfully connect google ads to google analytics or sorry facebook ads to google analytics right away for me i don't want to actually do that i will basically uh, do or use a tool called Zapier. So go and open a new tab, go and type zapier.com and of course hit the enter button. This will take you to their home screen or main screen. So make sure, let just me show you, as you can see, this is going to be your home screen or main screen. So if you don't know much about it, scroll down, see how the integration is done. This is an automation tool that will let you connect two websites, two tools and two things together. Of course, even more than two if you want to. So... Uh, you can of course like scroll down as I said, read more information about it, see what people are saying about it, and etc. So if you have an account, go to the top right corner and click on login. If you don't have an account, click on sign up instead. Or you can even create an account uh, or even login with Google, Facebook, Microsoft, SSO. If you don't want to get through all the boring steps of even logging in or even creating your account, for me I'll just choose Google here, login into my account, and this will take me right away into my screen. Now what I'll need to do is simply go to the left panel, click on apps. Once I click on apps, of course, I'll find here a lot of apps. For me, those apps are already all connected. For you, if you will have to go here to search apps and here, face, uh, first of all, we'll have to type Google Facebook ads. And of course, if you didn't find it, like just remove ads. And as you can see, you'll find like Facebook leads ads. Click on that. Uh, for me, as you can see, I will have it there. So I'll be able to click on it. For you, you'll probably not have it. You'll have to go and connect your Facebook leads ads. So for you, go and click on connect. And even you can find like Facebook leads ads for business admins, as an example. You can connect a lot of other stuff if you want to. So click on connect. This will pop out into you. Make sure to allow everything uh, that's needed. Of course, as you can see, for me, it will not happen because I'm already like connected. Once you go, once you finish with Facebook, so now you'll have to go and type Google 
Analytics. Just type uh, NAA. And as you can see here, you'll find Google Analytics and Google Analytics 4. So depending on whatever you want, you can connect this or you can even connect them both. Click on connects, of course, and choose the account. As an example, this one and make sure to allow all the access for me. I'm already like logged in, so I don't have to do anything. Once you're logged in, of course, you will find like yourself in here. Now, what you'll need to do is simply go to this last panel again and click or, or click on create zap. Once you click on create zap, as you can see, you will be taken here. So here, of course, you can start creating the connection between those two manually using the trigger. Of course, here you'll have to choose like the trigger. Uh, as an example, it should be like Facebook ads. So of course, if, if you see like here premium, you'll not be able to use this app unless you have the premium. So make sure to go and get your premium membership on Zapier so you can do that. You'll not be able to do it with free. So as we said, go to ads. And of course, once you choose the app, we'll have to choose the events like new lead. We'll have to, after that, to connect into our account. Then for the action, we'll have to go for Google Analytics. So I'll just choose four here. Choose the events as an example. So create like measurements. You'll have, of course, to connect into your account. Then you will have to do uh, or change or customize whatever you want, depending on whatever you choose. So as an example here, I choose like uh, for the event. Uh, creates measurements so they will ask me to do some specific requirements if you change the events the requirements will change automatically as an example so api requests here this will change as you can see so depending on the event that you choose uh, if you don't want to like do this manually you can use the ai tool that is was shown before and of course once you finish all of those before like even going to the ai you can simply go to the status here make sure to solve those as you can see so here you'll have to choose an account and here you'll have to set up the required fields and of course if you don't want to do all of those alone you can simply use this ai tool so let's just go here create a new zap and of course here make sure to use this ai tool so simply type here connect facebook ads to google analytics of course if you have if you have any other like uh, requirements make sure to type the details here once you finish click on generate and they will generate the triggers the actions the events everything for you you'll basically have to click on try it and as you can see everything will be filled you'll have to uh, solve those stages again as you can see so you'll have to fill your customization and you'll be done so that's going to be it for, for us today, of course. Once you finish, the Zapier will do a test by its own. And if it's working, you'll get a successful message. And now you'll be able to turn it on and the connection or the automation will be done automatically and you successfully will be connected to Facebook ads with Google Analytics. So that's going to be it for me today. Thanks for watching. Of course, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe for our channels. So thanks for watching again. Happy advertising and I will see you in the next video.